So all the manufacturers we work with are, are more and more looking at additive manufacturing as a viable process to get um, components of next generation systems. So, so we're taking metal powder and converting that into 3D printed parts. So we're focusing on uh, modernization and the Army's modernization priorities. So we support uh, mainly long range precision fires, next generation combat vehicle, uh, developing new materials and new technologies that'll feed into those applications. This is an RCAM electron beam uh, machine. So it, it keeps the entire build volume. Uh, it uses a high power uh, electron beam to, to melt the parts. So this is the original part that's out of the vehicle. Uh, this is where it's worn down causing it to fail, and then this is a 3D printed replacement out of uh, stainless steel. Uh, so one of our big efforts is on printing of munitions, so next generation munitions is one of our essential research programs. So the other thing we're working on a lot is uh, design for adders, so topology optimization, which means using the computer to generate more organic designs. So this is a, a pulley bracket um, for a next generation combat vehicle. Uh, so, you know, your traditional bracket, this would all be like a solid piece, so it would be a lot heavier, uh, whereas in this case you only have the material where your load paths are, uh, so it, it reduces the weight quite a bit, and it, since it's titanium, it actually becomes cheaper to print it because you're not doing a lot of machining. Uh, this is also titanium, this is an a engine manifold for a diesel UAV. Uh, this is a replacement part, uh, this is an uh, aluminum manifold uh, for the uh, AAV, which is the Amphibious Attack Vehicle, which is a Marine Corps vehicle uh, project we work with DLA for a long, this is a long lead replacement item. Uh, our, really our, our biggest driver as a research lab is developing new materials. We're developing new high strength feedstocks for next generation systems. 